of the sun. There's nothing like bathing in its warm rays. I love feeling the heat on my skin. But how careful do you need to be? What if you spent every day tanning? This is your body on tanning every day for a year. Hey, we all love to have that healthy glow. And lounging in the sun can be so relaxing. Especially when you have a good book and a cold drink. But what does tanning do beyond darkening your skin? And are there any other forms of tanning that are safer than being in the sun? Oh my god. <laughs> what color is I? Dark and dark. Oh my god. The sun gives us more than just light and heat. It provides vitamin D, which is essential for your body's optimal health. But too much exposure can lead to significant health issues. Oh my god. <laughs> the simplest and least time-consuming form of tanning is spray tanning. You could apply it yourself, or you can go to a tanning salon. If you spray tanned yourself every day for a year, you'd likely end up with splotchy skin, as it's hard to spray yourself evenly. What am I doing? <laughs> spray tans contain the chemical dihydroxyacetone, or DHA. The top layer of your skin absorbs DHA, and your skin gets darker. Now, although it's approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for external use, there's no consensus on what inhaling DHA could do to you, so be sure to protect your lips, nose, and eyes. Spray tans last about a week, but constant reapplication could keep your skin darker. After a whole year of spray tanning, you might end up looking orange with white circles around your eyes. Yeah, I think I'll stick to tanning in my backyard. Oh my god. <laughs> tanning beds can be convenient. You don't have to worry about the weather. However, you won't benefit from the vitamin D found in UVB radiation as tanning beds primarily use UVA. The Skin Cancer Foundation reported that people who use a tanning bed before the age of 35 are 75% more likely to develop life-threatening melanoma. They say that one in five people who use tanning beds regularly will eventually develop cancer. It's way too warm in here now, huh? So if you're going to be doing this for an entire year, the result may not be so good. Now that's what I'm talking about. Sunbathing can be a great way to tan. Just make sure you've put on plenty of high SPF sunscreen. Maybe you should wear uh, sunscreen. Sunscreen? Yeah. The sun emits two types of ultraviolet rays, short wave and long wave. The short wave rays penetrate the epidermis, the outermost layer of your skin and cause the melanocyte cells in your skin to create more melanin, giving you a darker complexion. If you spend too much time in the sun without protection, you will get a nasty sunburn. Look at that. And burning your skin even once can double your chances of developing cancerous melanoma. Not to mention, too much sunshine could make you look older than usual. Exposure to sunlight breaks down the collagen and elastin fibers in your skin, causing wrinkles. Maybe you should go to the hospital. And all that UV exposure can give you vision problems, including cataracts and blindness. The sun will also boil the water out of your hair, making it brittle and dehydrated. It might even change color. 
I'm protecting you. I don't care. You're not done. Not only that, but constant exposure to the sun could damage your DNA. What will you look like after a year of sunbathing? Well, it will depend on your original skin tone, the SPF of your sunscreen, and the amount of time you're spending in the sun each day. All right, now that you're tanned and sweaty from the heat, what would happen if you stopped sweating completely? Well, that sounds like a question for another episode of Your Body On.